There we go. Five and three quarters. All right, you'll need between 18 and 20 strips. It's just gonna depend how much space you put in between them. Depending on your size of jigs, um, box I'm work I'll do is probably gonna be 20 because I'm gonna put them close together. My ice fish and pan fish box, mostly small jigs. That is it, got them cut. Okay, make sure they stick a little better. A little bit of Gorilla Glue on them halves. All right, take this glue. Smear it around here. Put a line down each one. All right, now I just wanna spread this around a little bit. Okay, while that dries, while that glue sets up, we're gonna get this box ready. Make sure to clean it. Alcohol works well. If you don't have alcohol, some nail polish remover, something like that, just something to help get the grime, grime off so the glue will stick better. And I like to wash it a couple times. I wash it now, it's an old box, so I'm gonna wash it before I scar it, just so I don't get dirt in the grooves. All right. Take your blade, remember, don't want a sharp one, just want something rough, just scar it up. Just scar the crap out of it. Go two or three different directions. Get some good scarring. Just make sure you don't cut through it. Don't use a razor blade. Don't use anything sharp. Sharp things will cut through it. We don't want that. We just want to scar it. Get your scar it up good everywhere. All right, scar it up nice and good. And make sure to dump out all the pieces, all the scarring tissue comes off. All right, now I'll take your alcohol again. And wipe it down again, make sure you get nice and clean. All righty. About got her cleaned up here. All right, nice and clean. Now we want to stub the first one that had glue on it, so because it, it's gonna be the driest. And I like to space them out just a little bit from the edge. Press them down good, so you get that glue pushed down into those grooves. All right, now they are glued in. Now make sure to just keep them pressed down good. They should stick. The glue should, and then let it sit for a couple hours till it's dry. Then you can put your jigs in. All right, and here's what a completed box can look like. It's pretty nice. Get all your jigs, tungstens. It works out really well. All your jigs nice and handy, clean, dry.